So the final check on the GPS. We are leaving Lake Topaz. We're climbing further up the pig until we come across um, to Three Narrows. which just happens to be that way. Yeah, we got about a kilometer before we hit three narrows now. And then it gets flat, like it's, it gets completely flat afterwards, which is gonna be nice. Anywho, let's go down for a moment. Just wanna show you one more time where we're at during the day. We have some visitors, they came and they swam from across the lake there. Yeah, the view here is just spectacular. And there are some dark clouds rolling in. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's get out of here. Hello, Prete. Are you ready for another Very knee buster? <laughs> I am. So this is a uh, thirty degree. Decline. It's important to use your poles in areas like this. That's what they're for. Until you get to the bottom. Adventure of a lifetime. And what an adventure it is. A beaver one. That's a beaver skull, I think. Uh, hard to say. It could be a. Could that be a bear? <laughs> no. It's most likely a beaver. So we've come across a skull. What is that? That's a bear skull. That's not a bear skull. Oh, well, what else will have these huge eyes? What? How did she make it? I carried her. You did? Good job! Woohoo! You made it! There's another one. I'll carry her across this. <laughs> Up you go. This is where we change our shoesies. And we continue out. You ready? Yeah. We're keeping a very good pace today. Like we just went over that big mountain. My legs are starting to handle this a little bit better now. Yeah. yeah. It's 
gonna feel so good eating tonight knowing that those backpacks are getting lighter and lighter Seriously, just water? <laughs> yeah, we got lots. Yeah, that's five clicks. So you gotta do two kilometers per hour, two and a half per hour. Can you do that? Flat terrain. <laughs> flat. <laughs> it's not really flat, is it? But it's flatter. It's flat -er. If we go like this Most of the time today We'll make it in no time Like an hour and a half and we're there Many people have done that actually <laughs> Just leave that there for the next person Walk around it all the way. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, oh, be careful on that wood, honey. There you go. Is it wet there? It's a little bit. It's not too bad. It's good. 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 It's On our way to site 17, about five clicks away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are about a third of the way on day three, going on to H17, which is on, on a nice peninsula at the Three Narrows Lake. And uh, today is a lot easier. The beginning of the day started off a little rough on the pig, which is a very steep incline and then a quick drop on the other side. And then just when you thought you're there, they make you climb another mountain. But we made it. And uh, here we are. We're blazing along Three Narrows Lake. <sighs> Cookie's kicking ass. She's doing really well. It is lunchtime. So we're having some sausage today. Yep. We're gonna size of that blister. That's from getting burnt last night. I haven't, popped. I haven't popped it yet. I'm gonna mm -hmm. pop it like two days from now. Unless it pops on its own. Do you want the trauma care to put on top of it for now? No. no. Save that for our backs mm -hmm. and our legs. So this is where we are. Just pulled up on a little hill. Mm, now the thing, thing to keep in mind is when you pull over, remember which way you were going because it's very easy to go back the same way. There's a few deer here. I'm not sure if you can see that runaway there. There she goes. Yeah, our first animal encounter. Correction. That's a second animal encounter. We saw that turtle. So, water break next to a little creek. Cookie's drinking straight out of the stream like a trooper. Yeah, good girl. That's our creek we're talking about. Oh, yeah, with a view. Come on, let's go. She just walked through it twice. <laughs> Come on, you gotta go. Go. That's why she wants to be behind you. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, monkey. 
That's H17, we have made it. I mean, I don't know where the campsite is yet, but let me kiss it. Eva's trying to kiss it, I'm gonna kiss it. Give a virtual kiss, who knows who else has kissed it. Oh, we're almost there. So the trail is over here, and our site is right here. Woohoo! We made it! We're here on H17. Oh, we've made it. Oh. 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 Yeah, about 17 and a half kilometers in now. So 80 clicks, it's the loop. Without the silver peak. So that's not bad. We're almost at the quarter quarter point. Not bad at all. Beauty. I'm getting hungry. I say batonic. So sugar it is, yeah? Batonic now. I can have those gummy bears. My legs hurt so much. She knew you were a fisherman. She'd swim away. Aww. That was a nice moment. My legs hurt too. Yeah, this is definitely where I caught that bass on this lake. Not in this spot exactly, but There's on this lake. Fish here. So I was just getting us some water here. That looks pretty good. <laughs> it's really hard to pick a spot that's flat enough. So all these roots and otherwise if there are no roots, there's a bunch of rocks. Usually the camp spots are pretty good for um, having enough soil to actually stake your tent out. But this place, very rocky. Very, very rocky. So tired, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> that was a push. Eva's a trooper, she's doing great. Cookie did very well as well. Me, I was having a hard time today. I'm exhausted. There's just nothing left. <laughs> nothing. But we climbed over over some wicked stuff today. That's right. We climbed some stuff. That's for sure.
Oh, that's a perfectly pitched tarp tent. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah. I just recently sealed the seams. Uh, I didn't make my own silicone. I just went bust out the wallet and went over to Canadian Tire. And uh, I got some stuff. It's definitely silicone-ish, but everything is sticking to it. It's not sticky to a point where you can't touch it with anything else. But it's uh, sticky enough for dirt to get stuck to it. As you can see, it's not permanent, it's just... It's just weird. Huh. So what we have is a selection of my favorite lures. I've actually endured having to bring all of this in here. Red tails usually work really well, huh? Let's try this bad boy. I haven't used this in years. Everything on here has previously been prearranged. All I have to do is loosen some parts down. And we should have a fishing rod. Yes, sir. That's right. My favorite time of the day. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty. Now I guarantee that nobody's been fishing here for at least weeks. At least. Oops, very uneven surface. So let's try this bad boy first, shall we? This is trouty, but hopefully everything is set up. I've never used this setup yet. Definitely not this fishing rod. Oh, I don't have enough line. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh. That kind of sucks. I didn't check how much line was in this. I just saw that there was some. Ah, and there's a little bluegill going after me already. You see him? Yeah, good sign. If they like it, you just can't throw it far, I suppose, right? That's all. Whoa! Look at that. Oh! I say we don't have to throw it far at all. Cookie! That's a good bait. I can see shadows under there. It's all sunfish from what I'm seeing. There's supposed to be walleye in this lake. Lake trout, bass, northern pike. Um, I don't know if there's whitefish here. There's definitely all kinds of suckers from what I've seen. My shoulders are so busted today. They hurt. No, I believe I do. <clears throat> I do have some fishing line with me. 
I'm just not going to waste any time today putting it on because it's already so late. Such a beautiful night. Just awesome. I had one major bite. And from what it looked like, it must have been a bass. Uh, no, it's quiet. Confirmation of a bass. Saw me in some way. That's a big ass. That was a seaweed. We got weeds. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any jigs with me. What is there? I don't have that longer line on. Some ominous clouds rolling through the area. Just north of us. Roughly with the mountain range, we're heading in a couple of days east. That's going to be a tough day. Really tough. Cookie's enjoying herself out here. Now we're quickly losing light and I've got this flashlight but I just don't want to disturb her with it. She is destroyed like both of us. Oh, you're just passing out right here, huh? Good girl. So yeah, couldn't be happier with the spot we got. Amazing. It's absolutely beautiful night, nice and calm. Cannot complain at all. This is the campsite here. Um, this is going to become really grainy already. Very dark. Let's see if we can flip some light on. Voila. That's a little better, no? Let's say so. It's our gear bomb. We literally sat down by this rock and that was it. That's our fire pit for later. All our burnable junk is already in there. It's my GPS. It turns out we're about 17 kilometers in. We're at site number 17 of all things, actually. It's 
it just works out that way, I suppose. The tent is right here. And inside we're all set up. Oh, I need to care of everything already. Awesome. Awesome. There's my wet shirt. It's completely wet. <laughs> oh. Happier than pig in mud. Happier than pig in mud. The legs are no longer hurting as much. Starting to move around. We're going to eat a nice fatty meal. Huge. Actually, no, not fatty at all, actually. Very protein infused. Protein. Yeah, and that's Eva. You see her right there? She's uh, making water. Hmm. We're really getting a hang of these things. Like, we arrive at the camp, just don't even bother dividing the chores. It just happens now. Yeah, I set the tent up. I was taking care of some tea. Our, our food is on the way already. I'm happy to see that. Oh. It's going to be so good. I'm going to chop some wood. That's what I'm going to do. Where is that knife from Jake? Somewhere in here. In the midst of all the gears. The other side, no? Ooh la la. It's so easy to get through. Plan B. Get a lot more small wood. Because these are too fresh. Look what I got. Look at you. This is what I was just talking about. Beautifully dry. Beautifully dry for burning. Yeah. So what I was just talking oh, about was some dry wood and she's got some dry wood for us. Awesome. Awesome, she. It's fine. Awesome, she. Awesome, she. Yes. Awesome, she. She woman. She woman. She's the Here's woman. your uh, headlamp, honey. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel you. I get oatmeal for tomorrow. I'm going to leave it out. I feel you. I'm going to take it. <sighs> Woo! That's my Crocs Driving making away. funny noises. I know, it's brighter than everything else we got around here. Look, there's actually. Mushrooms here everywhere. See those? So many mushrooms. And they're huge. Some parts of the forest are oh, just. They're humongous. <laughs> it's like two feet put together and bigger. Like that. This is a mushroom picking paradise. You can literally, if you know what, what you're doing, you could live off, live off these things. Sorry? Well, a lot of them are poisonous. You got to know what you're doing, like I said. Never ever pick wild mushrooms if you don't know what you're doing, right? Ever. 
there's some wood over here but problem is I do not have an axe with me that was not a uh, luxury I brought with me what I do have however are a bunch of twigs for the bush body for later and we're gonna collect those Mr. Bush Buddy, everything is a little moist actually right now. It rained not too long ago. As we're walking here, there will be a day when we're gonna have nothing but rain, and that's coming, but it's not today. They have quite a few. Get a fire going, honey. All right, let's do it. So. Let's see. Day one, we started off here and we went to Acid Lake and we stood at, we stayed at this side here. On day two, we went to the pig and we camped at Lake Topaz. Today, we are at site 17. So from here to here, so far. Tomorrow, we are due to end up at site 20 but that's only like four or five kilometers of flatlands which means that we might try to hop along and go ahead a little bit because from here we're supposed to end up here to, uh, the day after and that means that's one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's 12 or 13 kilometers on the map here. I don't know if we're gonna make that. So instead of having a short day tomorrow, we're thinking of pushing farther, pushing farther as much as we can. And then that's just gonna set us up in an area where normally don't camp, but what can we do? We'll see. Otherwise, uh, two days from now, that's going to be a really, really tough day. Um, so far, we're about 17 and a half, 18 kilometers in, according to the GPS. And we're doing fine. We're almost at the quarter of this thing. Well, we're about to call it a night. After eating, I'm feeling a little bit better. Although, there's just about no energy left. Like none whatsoever, actually. <laughs> yeah, blazing fire on tonight. Lots of firewood here. The further you go in, the less people pick it out. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of firewood on this spot. It's great. Didn't even have to look for that for, for that long. Oh, still exhausted, but getting better. Eva, how are you doing? Okay. You alright? Definitely tired, for sure. Now it's just getting to the rhythm. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to be like... Our legs are just gonna get better and better after this, because we're getting over the pain now, but when the pain goes away, and the daily becomes just like a routine, you, it's, you, start, you start enjoying it. A lot more. Arnica. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have that. 